Hello everyone, and welcome to my EBF building tutorial. I hope this helps you save on resources as well as being more efficient with ramping up your production. We are going to go over some of the items that is necessary to build the main structure of the 2x2 EBF. We need two input buses for items, one output bus for items, two input hatches for fluids, four maintenance hatches, four muffler hatches, eight energy hatches, this could be any type, uh, I'm just using MV along with the Canthal coils because that is what I'm using in my current playthrough. If you're in a lower tier, you could use Copper Nickel along with LV hatches. Or if you're in a higher tier, use the same ones that you already have, uh, but these are just the numbers that you will need. The eight hatches for the energy, and then four EBF controller blocks, 25 heat proof machine casings, and then 42 of your coil blocks. This will get the main structure. I do have the turbines as well as super tanks just for powering it up if you're interested in seeing how that is done later on. But this is all you need right here to get the main machine set up. And to start us off, we're going to take the coil blocks and build a little hollow 3x3 three three area. And this is normally what you would have for one machine. But since we want to wall share and save on resources, we are also going to build another area, a hollow one right here. And then we will take that and just kind of copy and paste the whole pattern all the way around. So now you see it is a total of a 5x5 five five square with four hollow spaces. And then you want to take your remaining coil blocks and then just double up on that entire layer. Next, we're going to take all of our machine casings and just kind of cover up everything that we've just placed down. So now you see we have three layers, the two canthal coil blocks, and then the machine casings all on the top here, and then actually put in all of the muffler hatches on the top. Now keep in mind, all of the muffler hatches have to be facing up, otherwise the machine will not work. Now that I grabbed myself a wrench, we're going to go ahead and right click in the middle, and now that we see all of the holes facing towards the sky, that is going to be good enough for us. We're going to take our machine casings. You should only have four of them left. You're going to go straight to the middle block, go left one, go back to the middle, go to the right one, back to the middle, up one, and then down one. So it should look like that. And now that we've used up all of our machine casings, it'll make it really easy. We're going to go to the output bus, place that right in the middle, make sure it's facing down. The input bus, we're going to be wherever the front of your machine is. We have the input items on this side. Go directly opposite. And then there's the input for the other side. And then we could take our EBF control blocks. Put one to the left and one to the right. Go back to the other side. Do the same thing. Very nice. And then what I like to do as well is take your maintenance hatches. Put them in each corner. Now we're going to take the input hatches for the fluid. We're going to go off to the side, right in the middle, put that one in. Go to the opposite end, put the other one there. And now that'll leave you with just the energy hatches. And go in and fill in the remaining spots with those. And then make sure, once you're actually done placing these all, that the energy hatches face down, so that way you can hook them all up. That is actually all that is required for the main structure. It is pretty nice, pretty easy. I don't know why it took me so long to actually do it. And if you are interested in seeing how I actually connect up all the power as well as everything else, feel free to let me know so that way I can make another video pretty quickly on that to help you out. And if you did find this video helpful, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, as well as helping us reach the amazing goal of 5,000 subscribers, I would greatly appreciate it. And also, if you are new to the channel, I do have a series going on right now where I'm 100% completing every single quest Greg Tech New Horizons has to offer. So another great reason to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, and we will see you all in the next one. Blaze out.